The Fallen Saber GM is not very class or weapon specific heavy, so we're not going to cover that in this video. We're going to be talking about just general gameplay. The biggest tip I can give to complete this GM for any people that are trying it for the first time or are not experienced in it is positioning is key for most of this strike. So immediately, let's go talk about the Warsat. So the Warsat encounter works in a timed fashion. The percentage that you gain on the war side dictates how many enemies are going to be on the board and when they're going to be spawning. For example, when you start the war side encounter immediately, you're going to be going from 1 to 30%, getting just a bunch of wave of vandals and um, dregs coming in from a skiff. Now, first thing, every single skiff that comes in, every single one, you're going to want to shoot down the turrets immediately. Do not let them stay up. There's no reason to keep them up because more than likely they will one-shot you. Remember, it's arc burn. So, you're probably going to get effed immediately. As soon as you see the ships coming in from a distance and they're doing that little, you know, turn in the air, just shoot the turrets outright. In case the turrets aren't out yet, just shoot in the general vicinity of them and then the turrets will come out and then you just take them down. They're not very tanky, by the way, so you don't need to put a ton of ammo into them, but, you know, a couple of sniper shots or whatever you have will do the trick from your fire team. Now, once that's taken care of and the enemies are coming down, the reason I mention why you want to stop at 30% is because, first of all, that is when the first overload captain will be coming out. Second of all, once you go past that threshold, the battle basically shifts and the next wave of ships will be coming from behind. Notice how the first wave was on the beach side towards the edge where the cliff is and that's where the skiff also came from. Now you're going to be flipping. So you basically just turn your positioning and now you're going to be going to the beach side where you just killed all the enemies. And you'll be outside of the circle and the two skiffs will be coming in from behind where you were just standing. So now those two skiffs, you can use the cliff as basically a wall for yourself to wall yourself off from the turrets hitting you. Take down the turrets, take down the snipers that are going to be eventually coming at you. There's going to be three vandal snipers. They run immediately to the little cliff. So you kind of can spawn kill them if you want to trap that. As I mentioned earlier, by the way, the overload captain came out at 30%. You do want to take him down immediately, if possible, before the whole rotation and the ship showing up, just to give yourself a little breathing room. If you want, you can get out at like, you know, 25, whatever, make sure everything else is dead, and then get in there. Once you see the overload spawn in, you just get out. Then, you start taking care of the two skiffs that are on the board after that. Vano snipers, there's going to be invis marauders, and then eventually you'll be getting a bunch of dregs, normal vandals, and then one barrier champion. Again, do not get into the circle until you have everything under control. Once everything in the first initial wave is dead, then get in. Once you've killed the servitor and you know that you're good, there's no dregs, there's no vandals, you get in the circle once again, and again, the enemy spawns flip-flop. So now they're back on the beach side. There will be one more skiff turret coming in. You want to take it down immediately, just like the very first one. And then you're pretty much free in this instance to do, like, you know, well, bubble, banner shield, etc., etc., there will be more enemies coming in, of course, and there will be another Overlord Captain coming in. So if you think you're getting overwhelmed by the enemies, feel free to completely just get out. There's no reason to stay in. You can actually back up all the way to the hive side of the area, like where the two ships initially were. And you can just sit there and take out the enemies one by one, particularly the Invis Marauders that'll be standing basically still on that little cliff rock where the Vandal Snipers were. And you can take them out. You can take the Overlord Captain out from a distance. And then just breathe, you know? Then, if you want to avoid doing all the ad clearing, by the way, I do want to mention this, but it's not mandatory. If you have a hunter with invis on your fire team, you can easily just go invis, sit in the circle, get to 100%, and then get the hell out. And if you get to 100% before everything's dead, everything except the champion despawns. And then, if you do that, obviously, you can just 1v3 the champion afterwards. But again, not mandatory. I don't recommend it unless you're comfortable with it, and of course you need an Invis Hunter to do it. But there you go. That's the Warsat strat. We're done here. Let's move on. Next is Warsat's uh, little bunker room. I, I don't know what we call this. The first entrance underground in Rasputin's little uh, weird cave of music. You're going to be fighting several Overworld Captains, uh, Brayer Servitor, and then a bunch of Snipers, Invis Marauders, the same stuff basically as upstairs. So initially as you enter... Your best bet is to take cover on those little boxes on the left or right, or you can go in the little hallway that is on the left side that's kind of like a, a little broom closet and work your way in there and try to kill enemies one by one in there if you're more comfortable with that. 
either one works just be sure to get your you know like i said well bubble uh banner shield ready tether etc you want to immediately try to take out as many marauders as possible i feel like the marauders are the very first thing you should be killing because they're the ones that will push you with order wolves with uh melee swords and they'll be the ones killing you because they're envious so they're not easy to, to immediately spot out because you're trying to dodge the sniper shots once you kill the marauders then you can uh, breathe a little easier and then one by one you can kill the vandals if the barrier server is giving you problems then kill that first otherwise kill the vandal snipers quickly and then you have a barrier server left with an overload captain make a mental note that once you kill one of them another champion will spawn in this case you probably should kill the barrier server first because it's going to be immuning the overload captain more likely than not so kill the barrier once that's done you should have a captain and some shanks coming at you the captains will both be on the opposite side of the arena so they won't be coming by the entrance you just keep a distance from them there with a div or whatever you're using for overload and you should be relatively safe if you need to finish one of them kill one captain and then finish the last one and then you're done with that part then comes the part where you need to break Rasputin's little light bulb thing so for this part what I recommend is two people stand by where that mechanism is to break it and then one person or even maybe two people go in that broom closet that I mentioned the reason for this is because the overloads will spawn in at the entrance door they'll spawn there and they'll just be around there so again they'll be opposite of you the entire time the shanks will spawn in yes in the middle of the arena but they're shanks they're very easy to take out your main problem here will be the broom closet because this is where all the marauders spawn in the invis marauders with lord of wolves so your best solution here is to just outright spawn kill them the moment somebody breaks that mechanism you throw your weakened grenade your maybe controversial vortex your nova bomb anything that can spawn trap or kill outright immediately with like a giant explosion just do it asap like all six i believe marauders come out from that door right away so you can just nuke them all outright and then be done with them and then all you have left to deal with realistically is the two overload captains from there it's just very easy stun kill stun finish or maybe finish both depending on your ammo and then you're out of there next is the little uh baton pass section with the lightning now there's a lot of different ways you can run with the the ball into the dunk site i'm not really going to dictate to people how they should be doing it because if you have a method of how you do it that's totally fine player preference use that i will mention though the two people that are not going to be running the ball you should position yourself similar to how you will see me position in the video sitting on a little uh beam here and then i'll be spawn killing every single shank that comes on the right or left of me that is by the entrance or by the dunk site so my teammate doesn't get blown up and then your second teammate can stand at the entrance doorway if they want and then kill any shanks that come in the distance when the lightning is not near them and essentially you're just giving your teammate maximum cover now if you're a hunter on a fire team for this run you should probably be the ball person because you can pick up the ball walk it down get to the middle section where you kind of stand in between where the lightning can hit you drop the ball turn invis pick up the ball and then finish your run that would be the most ideal situation if you have an invis hunter next part there really isn't an amazing strategy to note here it's just a giant cluster f of enemies you're packed in a little doorway a little hallway where you need to eventually walk in to kill these enemies so the best suggestion i can give to you here is crowd control stasis uh agar scepter weakened grenades that prolong on the ground like vortex tether things like of that nature you want to get rid of everything that's in your face and nearby and then progress and walk and then shoot everything at a distance now obviously you don't have to walk like super far forward you just need to walk to the point where you get in the room where you can see down the middle of the room that way you can kill the overload captains and then eventually when the barrier servitor comes out you do the same thing to him and then the second captain and so on so on yada yada as always keep a distance from the shanks and keep an eye out for the invis marauders there will be a couple of them in this room that will come after you typically they come down from the sides not down the center so keep an eye on the staircase on the left and the ladder on the right and you should be fine the room after that consists of once again one barrier servitor and three overload champions the first thing you want to do is don't go in the room immediately first try to kill the sniper that's ahead of you you should be able to see him in the distance if not if they're being immune then you obviously have to take out the barrier servitor first which is totally fine you can do all of this from a distance before going into the room once that is dead you can start slowly getting into the room and immediately the three overall captains will kind of be to your left 
this actually gives you a good chance to stun all of them, whether you have Divinity or an Overload Nade, and they'll kind of be all be bunched up. And if you cleared all the dregs before you do this, and then you stun all of them together, that's when you take advantage and like throw a Nova Bomb or whatever you may have. If not, you can just take them out one by one and then use Aeons or Lucent Finishery if you need to for ammo, of course. Uh, it's up to you. Again, the room is not anything crazy. It's just very uh, meticulous crowd control. And then you're done with it. Then you go to the boss room. So congratulations on making it to the boss room. You've made it to the easiest part of the Nightfall. I'm not kidding. Here we go. So once you go down the slide and you don't get auto-death killed like, uh, <coughs> like Dado did. <coughs> So, this room has... <laughs> well, you know what? I'm just going to show you here on the screen. Basically, for the first two phases of the fight, you're going to be standing behind this little... Uh, what the hell do we call this? Fence. This little fence on the right side. As long as you stand behind this fence right here... There's two of them, by the way. The boss cannot hit you. I'm not joking. The man literally cannot hit you. <laughs> so, all you got to do from this point on is kill Shanks, and then peek every once in a while, you know, throw your heavy at the boss, throw your grenades at the boss, super, whatever you have, and just stay behind this wall for the first half of the fight, and he quite literally cannot do a damn thing about it. That's it, that's the whole entire suggestion. <laughs> then you, he goes away, you kill the barrier servitor, he comes back, do it again, he comes back, he's half health, at this point, this is where your fence goes down, so unfortunately, you can't stand the entire fight here. But instead, you're going to rotate to the left side and do the same thing, essentially. Except on the left side... <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. On the left side, you're going to be hiding behind steel mattresses. Yep, that's what they are. Giant mattresses. On this side, you basically can just go nuke mode. Uh, div, supers, grenades, everything you got. Just nuke the hell out of the boss. He's not very tanky. And just outright kill him and you're done GG. If you can't nuke, you're out of ammo or whatever, you're going to have explosive shanks um, periodically spawning on you until he's uh, a third health. And then in the last phase, obviously, he's going to be chasing you in his arc mode. And if you can't nuke him outright immediately, you're going to have some sniper shanks in the ceilings to deal with. Other than that, it's just kill the boss and you win GG. Like I said, the boss room is, is quite literally the easiest part of the Nightfall. That's it for Hotline well, Saber. And uh, I will catch you guys for... Uh, what do we got left? We got, we got Arms Dealer and Glassway to go. Yep. So, catch you tomorrow. And uh, be sure to subscribe, like, share, all that nonsense. Uh, GM helps. Twitch.tv slash Daily. Yep, catch you there. Goodbye.